Welcome back to the Sound for More channel and welcome back to another demonstration and tutorial. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Speaking of Which from Gem All K. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So, as you can see, we are inside the AUM, which is the have an audio channel, and here we have instantiated, a, speaking of which, as an audio processor. And what is it? Well, it is a speech to synth sampler. You can see here a number of parts. Robot. As you press the pad, it says robot using this text here and also a voice which has been selected here, which you can select, of course, through multiple voices via your iOS system. Indeed, is using the iOS AV audio video um, synth engine. Machine. And you can change between different parts, of course. Electric. Automate. And you can link it to an external MIDI controller, or in this case, like the AUM keyboard, and you can use uh, these to play the first part. You can move up the register to play different pitches. If you want to play a different part, well, you need to change the MIDI send channel. Okay, so there is a MIDI channel which is assigned to uh, each different part. Okay, and that is useful because you can use that, for example, for though automation works really well. Now, as you select a pad, robot. you can change the speed here. Robot. Ro ro robot. Okay, you can change the pun. Robot. Ro 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 robot. You can change the game. Robot. Ro 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 robot. You can change the MIDI channel, okay, but also the audio bus because you respond to audio bus, which is really good. And then you can change the um, the color as well of the pad, which is really good, particularly to be used to remind you of where particular pads are, for example, in the case of live performance. Indeed, you can use your fingers, touch, and the iPad is great for that, and use it to play in a rhythmic way as well. Binary. And of course, you can change the text, as I just um, mentioned a moment ago. And you go here and you type something else, like uh, really, and press enter. Really. Okay, and that is as easy as it is. Remember, you can change the voice as well. And indeed, Techno as you move between different parts, you see the voice is changing here. Technology. You have Zarvox, okay. Try now it's there, etc. Network. I'm Fred in this case. Okay, so you can use these as an external MIDI controller, connect to it, and you can play. Um, well, depending on your MIDI controller, if your MIDI controller can also handle multiple channels, you can play different pads, of course. Um, or you can use the pads directly here and you can play live as well. You can do some really nice performance here as well. Okay, this is the first pad, or tab, which is called pad. Then you have a sample as well. This is to show you the sample, of course. Computer. You can change the play mode. The moment is one shot. Computer. So it doesn't do anything more than that. You click Computer. and it play once. You can go to reverse. It plays in reverse. You can change that to loop. Computer. Computer. Okay, so you repeat. Loop back, reverse. So you loop but in reverse. Then you can do ping pong from this side. Or the opposite, Pong Ping, starting from this side, the right side. So, pretty straightforward, right? You can change the start. And the end as well. For the sample, which is really useful in terms of personalizing your performance, you can go to the pitch tab, and of course you can change the pitch, which is great. Binary. So let's increase here at the beginning. Binary. 
Let's decrease a lot at the end. I know. I know. You can double click and create a point, okay, which is really useful. I know. You can do things like that. I know. So it goes down as a peach, then it comes up, and then it goes down again. So you can create a very interesting effect. Reset and undo option, really straightforward. And of course, you have also an amp envelope, which is really good. So you can adjust the amplitude and therefore your volume as it progresses the play of that sample. So we have also here a settings um, window menu. Uh, here you can decide what is the default voice. Um, you can resynthesize re all of the parts. You can change the knob controls. Go to the tutorial, the manual review, other apps and give feedback. And here um, you can click on presets and you have access to a lot of different presets and I love them. Some are really nice. Multi-language. Hello. Hola. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Okay. Perfect. Really nice. So um, the Vokoda Classic is the one uh, seen in the beginning. Robert Rock. Make it better. Never have makes us ever strong. Fast, more power. power better. Okay, really nice. And of course, you can click on edit to actually change your view as well here. Harder. Okay, and that. Harder. And that is really great. Okay, so you can change the view there. Now, one of the things I really like, go back to the pod um, view here. So um, let's close these. Let's create another audio channel. And here, instead of calling or searching for speaking of which, we go to multibus audio unit instances, and there you find speaking of which. Okay. Now under here, let's add um, a delay. So like so. And then now when we play pads, it will go through the first channel and we hear a delay. Let's say, let's take this second one, make it. make it. We have the delays, of course, because it's going through here. We're going to the second audio channel where we have that audio uni instance, which has been added as a multibus. So we go here and we search for a reverb, a rack reverb. Okay, we go back um, inside, uh, speaking of which, and for the second part, we change the audio bus to two. Now, now when we click on it, it's playing on the second channel where we have the reverb effect. And you can see the uh, audio output here. So these, all the others will still go through the first um, channel. And this is useful because you can use it in other combination. So that's great. Harder, do it, never, do it, never, after, hour. I really love the selection of presets. There is really a lot in it. Techno stabs, and there it is. <laughs> so it's great fun. <laughs> it really ambient pads. Okay. Mm. Oh. Remember, you can use it as a normal synth, and the phone you can connect it to your door really, really easily. So you could do things like. Uh, uh, a MIDI processor coming in here and choose uh, something like polybud connect the two um, like so and then play right and then what you can do is change the randomization for example like so and play a game And of course, then you could, for example, change the output channel. Okay, you have your MIDI channel here and MIDI input channel, MIDI channel there. 
So you go to the second one. That's great, isn't it? So we could, for example, uh, decide to um, double click here and bring in another one again, polybud here, and connect it again to the same um, uh, instance, like so. We go inside here, we change different type of randomization, uh, perhaps so, uh, something like so. We change the output MIDI channel to free, and now we click play. <laughs> Cool, right? So um, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. It's great. Go, 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 go. <laughs> really, really interesting. So low five vanilla. Ring star. Cloud. Lost. Lost. Okay. But the beauty, again, create your own um, preset, right? You can have your own user presets here. Choose your own voice, change your text, and have a lot of fun. Ring star. Oh. Oh. Pain. Ah. Uh -huh. Hey. So. My. Oh, Okay, so let's try a couple of more. Um, boom, bop, kit. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm sure you can have a lot of fun if you introduce, for example, a drum uh, machine um, uh, as well. So you can have uh, even more fun right and um so just choose one quickly so uh, my usual one decrease a little bit of the volume and click play <laughs> So, great little tool, lot of fun, I'm sure you will enjoy. See you next time, bye.